God, these rocket artillery are just eating through. Eating through the lands. Like, oh my goodness. It's almost unfair. Like, it's not unfair because I'm enjoying it and therefore everything is fine. There's Amsterdam as well. Oh, Russia. It's an unstoppable machine. All in the name for building a railroad, by the way. Like, that's the only reason I'm doing this right now. Next up is Paris. Again, Russians marching in on Paris like this is always a little bit of a worrying thing, but that's okay. From our point of view, it's all rosy. Like so, and Kerplonk. Doing this without actually pillaging anything as well, which is, I think, very well behaved of me. Okay, is the Gaul in a Golden Age? No, they're in a Dark Age. Whoopsie! That's not very good for you. I'm going to go to arms this time. I've learnt my lesson. This effectively means that I can make joint wars with people that are much more spectacular because I don't need to have waited five turns to get like a proper war with people. So it makes the deals a lot easier. Like, it is a thing. I promise you it's a thing. Look, my military engineers, this is why we're here. We're building the railway. We have now all the way to Amsterdam. Did millions have to die to achieve this feat? No one's entirely sure, but we're not complaining. So now I'm just spreading my religion over to my new conquered cities as well. We can't be having this horrible Catholicism. Oh, no, no, no. That's not the Russian way at all. Operation Ivy, you say? Uh-huh, well then. Okay. Don't mind me while I just quickly build a sneaky thermo nuke. No, no need to worry about that one. Let's go for double scientist points because there's some fun scientists at the moment. I want to be able to uh, purchase things in with faith really cheaply. That's really cool. Uh, who's on the most diplomacy points? Mayans? Gaul? Uh, Ethiopia. Ethiopia is my ally. Let's vote for Ethiopia. And then World's Fair. Actually, the World's Fair will be hilarious if that goes through. Generating great people points per turn. That's easily a good enough thing for me. Which one went through? Purchasing is gold is cheaper. No scientist points went through. Okay, so nobody's going to get Schrodinger then. That's a shame. Schrodinger is cool. Putoli. Oh, he's not taken. Ouch. That was a mistake. Can we slip this unit round instead? I think we probably could. That's why you send two every time, just in case you muck up. City defences can kill a battleship in one turn. That feels... That feels quite brutal, but we'll we'll sort of go with it anyway. Um, these guys are looking pretty good now as well. Where's my other tank? I had another tank just chilling around. Here we go. In you come. One more kill. Okay, that city's taken as well. Wow. Okay, Gaul are disintegrating. I'm actually struggling to keep up with this. Peter has captured Paris. No, 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 no. We don't like these sort of emergencies, although this probably will go through. Because, I mean, quite honestly, why wouldn't it? Oh, yeah, I did build the Statue of Liberty in that pond. With a <laughs> in the Black Sea. That pond. The Black Sea is not a pond. Light. I should point that out. Look at all the theatre squares behind. Oh, I've had such a fun rushing game. That's on fire. Ignore the fact that's on fire. And look at the shiny, shiny thing in front. This is the Russian way. Look, propaganda. Don't listen to the fire. Yeah, loads of people voted down on that military emergency. For once... For once, people are like, nope, that sounds like a terrible idea. And Mulan, let's get her back, why not? One more Gaul city taken. I think very much. Oh, and an, en an encampment that I can now use to shoot the battleships down. It's pretty handy. Chompy comes in, takes this city. Nice little 13 pop city there. And uh, I think we've only got one more to go and we've taken all the ones on the mainland. I don't need London. London's not what I'm interested in here. I'm interested in railroads. Trust me, if you've been to London, you'll know that it's uh, it's never worth capturing. Matthew Perry, when he's not on the set of Friends, he can steal city-states for you, which is very useful. I think that's the last Gaul city I kind of want, so I might make peace with them now. Assuming I can. Yes, I can. Sometimes you, you <laughs> I find that I do these wars so quickly, there's like a very good chance that I actually can't declare peace because I'm still within that 10 turn, like, time frame. Making peace with everyone, everyone, except for Teddy. Teddy, Teddy's fine. Teddy's fine being a boy. I, I, I don't feel the need to be, to be friendly with him. Do I continue and take over Port? Of course I do. Of course I do. In fact, actually, we'll just see if anybody wants a war with Portugal. There's got to be somebody who's keen on that. Yeah, no, nobody's, 
Nobody's keen. All right, Golden Age War. Here it is. Oh no, Portugal! What a shame! Crystal Redentor. I think I do actually have quite a bit of religious tourism, so that could be quite fun. I'm sort of... Like, you can probably tell I'm building my tourism and culture up a little bit on this game. I'm kind of doing it because I enjoy it, not because I think I'm genuinely going to win a culture victory. Although I am winning a culture victory. Apart from that, it's, it's all fine. It's all fine. I'm really doing a science victory. I just get distracted. Speaking of, don't mind me up here, just in the frozen north. Oh, missile silo. I can't build that there, can I? Oh, that's a shame. I thought I could build one that Maybe I could build it over in the tundra. I can put it in the snow. Is it only... I can only do it in my own land. I might be able to only do it in my own land. Okay, I'll try on the crees because I am allied to them. Oh, that would be really annoying if I can't do that. Never mind. I have to do it the old-fashioned way. All these trade routes are starting to get big. This one goes all the way down to that coast from Brussels. Oh, I feel like we're getting there slowly, but we can do better. Barrows Martin. Perfect. One more. Uh, rebellion in four turns. These two cities are now loyal. Basically, I'm having to kill Portugal because otherwise the loyalty is just causing a problem. I always find this a funny thing. Sparta just flipped to me, which was Greece's old capital, right? But I get diplomatic penalty for owning the city, but I didn't take it over. It came to me. Like, I did nothing to, to encourage that to, to fall for me, so... I don't know. I always feel like that's a really funny one. Like, you should only really get the penalty if you're the one to sort of kidnap it, right? If you if you sort of aggressively took it. Oh, Portugal have vampires as well. Okay, they're not as powerful as my vampires, but they do have them, and that is cute. In the meantime, Porto, I think, has just been taken. <laughs> yes. Yes, lovely stuff. And Portugal actually have a great prophet just waiting in Stonehenge that hasn't been popped. Why have they done that? Well, no one's entirely sure, but... Sure. We've even got Holy Site and they haven't done it. That's weird. That's really weird. I don't know about that. And now Cardiff is mine. Good old Matthew Perry. How his new whales like friends. Hee <laughs> hee. She give me loads of um, extra power in all of my cities, which is quite cool. Don't mind me whilst I build a nuclear submarine. Hee <laughs> hee One attack followed by. Two attacks followed by. Three attacks and four attacks and I think yeah let's get our vampires in just so that I can go kasploosh and this will give me the maximum kills oh, look at that yes so Portugal still exist unfortunately but ultimately I don't really care I don't want any of their other cities this is all I needed all I needed and the railway now is all the way down to Faro oh can you imagine getting a Lisbon all the way to Kranelsjask which is not how you pronounce that, but that's the brute I want. Oh, we are must be close now. We must be close. You can see the size of the railroad we've built. It goes all the way through my empire in a crazy, crazy way. I mean, this must be, this must be long enough now. It's just about getting the trade route that's long enough. Oh, oh no, everyone's empires are falling apart now. London's just gone. Rome is just about to go. This African city is about to flip to me. In fact, Rome generally, their entire empire is going. Gaul is not long for this world as well. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Is this city underwater now? I have a feeling that one of these cities may now officially be underwater, which is never a good thing. Ah, yes. Here we go. This is what we've been building up to. Russia and America. A nice, lovely cold war. A beautiful cold war that... It's just about to get a little bit hotter. Ignore this, America. This has got nothing to do with you. <laughs> Goodbye, my friends. And that's what happens when you put three cities within two tiles of each other. Oh, the industrial zone seemed like such a good idea at the time, didn't it? But no more. Ah. God, it's good to be Russian. <laughs> Surprisingly, America wants peace. Um... Not when you've got 16,000 gold, my friend. I mean, come now. I feel like I'm winning a culture victory because the entire world is being like, buy Russian stuff, we don't want to get nuked, please. There's the Mars colony, Russians on Mars, don't worry about it. Oh, look, it's just a Huey in the lake. What a wonderful thing that is. I think I can do the old double Reno here and go Exoplanet Expedition combined with Korolev 
and then that's the fourth project on the same turn. Hooray! Now I haven't actually discovered the future- oh there we go, off-world missions, there it is. So I'm a little bit ahead of where I need to be, so that's enough time to buy a thermo nuke, I think. Oh, theming things is so much fun with this mod, it makes it so easy. Uh, okay, well, I'm about to get a load of landscapes, which I, you know, landscapes I don't really need. But that's fine, it's Vincent van Gogh, so I'll take it any day. You've even got such wonderful things like Starry Night. Oh, I do like that picture. That's a genuine painting that makes me smile. I like the idea that this is just mummy, as in Curtin is selling me his mother. <laughs> like, <laughs> There's no other reason for that. It's just like, okay, sure, Curtin doesn't want it anymore. In oh, the Venetian Arsenal. This Again, when did I build it? And Happy why is, is this on fire? Which in time and peace. <laughs> Anyone want to tell me? I think it may have been sunk, and therefore it's on fire. But, I mean, we'll ignore that one. In fact, a lot of this area has been sunk. I really shouldn't I have flooded think. the world with so much coal, but, you know, what are you going to do? Lord Snacklington is having a great fun on this island, and... Chomping McChompington again on this island. Oh, Portugal thought they'd almost killed them with their city attacks whilst they were embarked, but unfortunately it was not meant to be for them. The two nuclear submarines doing a little bit of damage, and then Snacklington can just walk in, I think. Bam! Oh, the minions don't like the fact that I'm right next to them. That's, um, that's a shame, because I'm not going anywhere. Hey, city rebels. That's nice. We like that. Oh, you know when you forget to trade for a little while? <laughs> okay, the only way to do this is to go, like, just sort of shove it all in the menu. And once it's all here, just see what happens. 161 gold per turn for some combination of stuff in there. Yeah, sure. Do I really care? No, not really. I kind of just, <laughs> I just want the money, really. Come on, peace Portugal, yes. There we go. There we go. Right, now, uh, I might just... I mean, is it possible to return the city? No, not really. These guys have tons of gold still because, oh yeah, look at that. They are just like absolutely just trading like anything. And America, don't, don't mind me. Don't mind me just doing Russian things here. Ba -doo -ba -doo -ba -doo -ba -doo. Ba -doo -ba -doo -ba -doo -ba -doo. This time, Washington and Boston, you'll note that none of these cities have recovered from the last strike. I feel like I've started the something from the Terminator movie here. Oh, yes. Yes. You know what? Now we can have peace. <laughs> Poor America. First Lagrange laser station goes up in the air. It's now a race between science and culture, and I think science is going to win unless I get my tourism up a lot more. It's currently at 3,000 per turn, but because I don't get tourism from like half the people on the map, it's a little buggy. It's difficult to win. Maybe I, yeah, Monopoly's mode does kind of fix the problem. I say fix the problem, it kind of like makes the problem obsolete, but you know, it's always something fun to do. Laser station number two, right above the bridge. Oh no, Himiko's gone. I have no need for her, but I'm gonna hire her back anyway because I feel like I'm not complete without her. Kume now? Ooh, all of these cities are slowly joining me. <laughs> Ooh, a special session. Uh, nope, nope, uh, oh, actually I say that, is there a diplomatic, for oh, diplomatic, so actually there are victory points available here, so I feel like I'm going to do that, that's a military emergency, we don't like that, a nuclear weapon, dear oh dear, okay, we may have a lot of people declaring war on us at once right now, unless my allies, uh, come into sort of going, oh, military aid request, no, nobody declared war on me, hooray, one more laser station in the sky, okay, so, these aid requests. I've kind of got to win these ones because India, I believe, is on 13 points. We've got to just keep an eye on that one. We don't want India winning these things faster than they have to. Oh, I also picked up London, which I'm sort of a little disappointed about, but I'll take it. Well, this military engineer literally had just put down a railroad and uh, the island actually sank underneath it. Whoops. Another station into the sky. Another laser station and another city as well. Oh, it's just Rome is just joining Russia. Like, I get it. I would want to do the same. Uh, okay, the world is totally flooded now. We are four degrees above. <laughs> We're not gonna, not gonna think about that one too much. Um, actually, look, the entire world is now being 
uh, everyone's getting involved, not just me, although I did kind of do most of the damage, but we're not going to talk about that. I'm balancing it out by sending loads of aid to people, so that's fine, right? I mean, I'm, I'm sort of fixing what I did. I'm still desperately putting down great works in the hope that I can somehow wrangle a culture victory here. It's unlikely, but... I mean, as I say, I'm up to 3,127 culture per turn now, I'm, I'm gaining it. It's just, yeah, the map's sort of against me, unfortunately. And another one into space. I must you be getting never. close now. I must be 76 turns on a culture victory. It's happening. Slowly. <laughs> Eight layers per turn, yeah, next turn. Oh my goodness. I'm looking forward to finishing this game. It's been great fun, but these big games... Holy moly, do they go on. So I think the most annoying thing about this game has got to be that I failed to do the Siberian Railway thing. I might keep the save file and I'll do that off camera. It, it's, it's like having to wait turn after turn after turn after turn to actually get the trading posts in. It's taking far too long. Like, I have the cities here and then over here. Like, they can trade with each other, but I just don't have the trading posts in and it's going to take another, like, blip. Like, loads and loads of turns before they finish, so... Ugh, oh, it's a real, it's a real silly thing that I wish you could do it with Rome. Like I appreciate the challenge has to be done with Russia because that's kind of, well, the whole point, isn't it? But you know, still, there we go, finally. Our ancestors. Oh, yes. Russians in space. You know, what? I feel like we did all of the things we set out to do there. We basically reformed the Russian Empire. I built a huge railway across the world. I nuked America. I went communist. I mean. I'm pretty proud with that. That's that's pretty good. Augustus Caesar, yeah, 3,850. I thought we might win that one quite well. <laughs> um, let's have a quick look. Cities founded, you can see I founded the most. Great people earned. Towards the end of the game, I did start to focus on culture a little bit, as you can see. In fact, actually, we were culture leaders almost by about 60% of the way through the game, which is pretty mad. Science, kind of the same point. Faith, I imagine. There we go. Yeah, I was easily doing well on faith. Is that the Mayans? They're doing really, really well on faith there. Hang on, who's the light blue? Menelik? No, it is, I think it is the Mayans, but I can't actually see where they are on this list. Let's, there we go, yeah, the Mayans were doing fantastically well. Yeah, fair play. Um, let's have a quick look at other things. My score was just amazing. You can see religions founded. Good, good, I got the first one, <laughs> which is all that matters. Units killed, well over 200 units lost. Did I even lose a unit? Oh yeah, I did. Actually, quite a few. <laughs> I will ignore that one. And then Wonders Constructed. Yeah, I actually did quite a few Wonders that game. There I'm pretty proud of like that. It. Yeah, go on then. I'll show you, I'll show you the, uh, the naughty thing. Look away, children. Look away. Oh, 324 units of railway. All the way down to Portugal. And then all the way back through Russia, I had two lines. I had the desert line and I had the Siberian line all the way into the other coast. And then I also did all the way down into Kemen lands, which I definitely, yeah, I, I was a little bit aggressive. I shouldn't really have owned China or parts of Thailand or, you know, the Middle East, like parts of that. Actually, I didn't own much of the Middle East. It was kind of just Turkey and, and over here. Uh, Georgia, I think I own Georgia, Tbilisi, yeah, um, and a lot of Europe. This is kind of like maybe post-World War II had Russia gone absolutely insane sort of look. I, I don't know. Oh, what a game. What a game. I hope you enjoyed. I, I really enjoyed filming that, but my god, this game has gone on for a long time, and I need to lie down. See you all next time. Goodbye. And a very special shout out goes to Scott Stratton, Major King Kong, Matthew Wilkinson, Salty Tech, Midnight Oil, Trufferdaspi, Paul Coffey for all of your support on Patreon as well as everybody else who likes, subscribes, joins Discord and does all the silly things that keeps this channel going. Thank you so much.